वट आर स्टेट स्टेटलेस स्टेटफुल एंड स्टेट मैनेजमेंट टर्म्स दोज हु आर न्यू टू रिएक्ट होक्स और स्टेट मैनेजमेंट दीज टर्म्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर देम इफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड स्टेट देन यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ होक्स देन यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड रिडक्स सो स्टेट वी मस्ट नो सो इट्स लाइक अ रिविजन ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर इज ए कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट स्टेट and inside it we are setting the variable count equal to 0 which is data so state is nothing state refers to the current data of the component okay this is the initial state or initial data count in the component then later when the data count is updated the state will be also updated right so here is the return element code which will be rendered in the ui so this is the output ui you can see here we are expecting when we click this button the increment function should be fired and the value of the count variable will be incremented by 1 right that is the expectation but as per the current code in the browser the count value is 0 now if i will play this when clicking the button then updated state is getting logged properly in the log because of the console log statement in the code but this updated state value which is count that listen carefully this updated state value count is not rendering back to the ui here that is the problem and that means right now our component is stateless our component is not able to render the state changes continuously in the ui again that means state is not managed in our component now to make this component stateful the expected browser should be something like this now see this is stateful on clicking this button multiple times the update state data or state value kept on rendering to the ui this will be a stateful component and for this behavior and output we will use what we will use react hooks or component life cycle method in the upcoming questions but now you know what is a state what is a stateless stateful right finally two points states refer to the current data of the component and stateful or state management means when a user performs some actions on the ui then the react application should be able to update and re-render the data or state on the ui then and there then and there okay that's the idea